Hey, this is Russ. You know, I had a couple of comments recently about um, knee replacement. Yeah, this channel started out as a knee replacement channel. Did you guys know that? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, so we still have people looking at my knee replacement videos. I kind of stopped doing knee replacement videos for, for quite a while now. I guess this, this past year, I really didn't talk too much about it. But it was uh, started because of the knee problems that I had. I had a replaced knee in my, my left knee. And it took me nearly two years to get over all that. <laughs> yeah, two years, 80 physical therapy sessions. Yeah, I had a hard time. So I bought the e-bike to help rehab my knee. So I figured I'd talk a little bit about my knee and also how the e-bike has helped me or not helped me in my knee replacement uh, recovery. So yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, it took me a long time to get to the point where I could even do one full rotation on a bike. Yeah, I think it took almost... Um, Oh, at least, at least a year, maybe a year and a half actually to do some type of ability to, to kind of rotate on, on a bike consistently. I mean, I, I know that right after I finished physical therapy, I stopped physical therapy, um, what was it, after about six months or so uh, because of the pandemic happening. The uh, Going to the physical therapy location probably wasn't the smart thing to do at the time. So, uh, so I stayed away, and so I had to work on things on my own. And I know that uh, towards the end of my physical therapy uh, sessions, I was doing some rotations on the bike, but it was, it was hard. It wasn't easy to do. And then, uh, of course, I have a recumbent bike, exercise bike at home where I can get on there and, and work on that too. I haven't been on there, uh, yeah, in a while, over a year or something, have not been on it. I've been riding my e-bikes. <laughs> so, uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, I would say it probably took a good year and a half, though, really, before I can actually ride uh, where I can, I can say that, you know, I was, I was rotating well, yeah. And then about two years before I finally got an e-bike, yeah, after the knee replacement. So I bought the e-bike to help rehab my knee, keep my knees moving, essentially keep it going so I had some exercise. So uh, has the e-bike helped out? Yeah, definitely has helped out, there's no doubt. Uh, today, um, you know, I think the first year that I had my first e-bike, the, the Rad Power Bikes uh, Rad Rover 5, I did 2,600 miles on that bike on that first year. And then this past year, I did another 2,000 or so miles, 2,000 something, 2,400, 2,300, something like that. Close to 5,000 miles by the end of two years, right? So uh, obviously, uh, the e-bike has helped quite a bit. So how is my knees doing now? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you this, I, I still use a cane going up and down stairs. Now, I know uh, my, my therapist would probably say, get rid of that cane, start working on your own. Uh, I use the cane basically for, not, not so much for support, but for steadying myself. Because going up the stairs, I only have one handrail, and uh, it's quite a, quite a bit of stairs to go up. So I, I use the handrail and the cane on the other hand. So it's almost like having two support things, right? So I use that going up and I use that going down. If I don't have the cane with me when I go up and down the stairs, I go up and down very slowly. Yeah, I don't, I don't move very quickly. So uh, it's just there for steadying. But if, if I didn't have this cane with me, could I go up and down stairs? Yeah, I could do it. <laughs> it's not like I can't. But I figure, you know, it's better safe than sorry, right? And a lot of times when I go upstairs, and I never go up. once I go downstairs, I never go back upstairs, okay? I don't go back upstairs until it's time for bed. Yeah, I basically avoid going up and down the stairs. So once I'm downstairs, I'm downstairs until bedtime, <laughs> and then I go back up. And a lot of times when I go up, it's very late at night, yeah. Uh, I'll give you an example. This uh, last night, um, I was up until about 3.30 in the morning working on a video for one of our, our uh, accessory companies, that I uh, did a review for, and I know that China is going to go uh, and well, they're going to go on what they call holiday, okay, for at least a week because Chinese New Year's is this Sunday. So once Chinese New Year, not once Chinese New Year happens, they shut down everything. The whole China totally shuts down for like a week. They go on, they go on holiday <laughs> for a week. So I knew that if I didn't get things taken care of with the various companies I work with, if I didn't get it done before. Friday of their time because they're ahead of us by like 13 hours uh, it would be bad I wouldn't hear anything for at least a week and then I can't do the things I need to do uh, without some directions and stuff so yeah I was up late last night so going back upstairs <laughs> yeah I don't want to be stumbling upstairs with just one handrail so that's why I have the cane it, it makes it easier to get up those stairs to get to bed so 
So yeah, okay. So how's the knee overall? The, the knee overall is doing well. It's my leg is stronger now. My knee is stronger now. You know, I fell twice uh, because I leaned to the left when I first got my bike uh, because I didn't have the leg strength to hold me and the weight of the bike up. I fell down two times. It happened that way. The third time I happened uh, to fall because my shoelace got caught in the <laughs> in the pedals. So uh, I purposely fell towards the right. But the two times I fell to the left was I was I was slowing down to stop. But the problem was um, I didn't have the leg strength to hold me up. So this is why I tell a lot of the new patients who are looking at e-bikes today, make sure your leg is strong enough to hold you and the bike up. Okay, it's not not the fact that you can't ride the bike because you, you will be able to do it just like I was able to do it. It's the stopping. <laughs> when you stop, uh, you, you, you have to put the leg down to, to stop. And then when you do that, uh, you've got the full weight of yourself and the full weight of that 70 plus pound bike to hold up. And of course, I didn't have the strength to do that. So down I went. Okay, so it's just something to remember if, you're, if you have any type of physical ailment, whether it's a knee replacement or a hip replacement or something like that. Uh, be careful going on the bike. It's not it's not the riding of the bike that will be a problem for you. It's the stopping of the bike and then hopping off the bike and not having the strength to hold you you hold you and the bike up. Okay. Now recently I had somebody said to me he says you know they were looking at the at, at the senior video. Remember we talk about the senior video, <laughs> the one where most of you guys came from. <laughs> they said well this this video sounds like you're trying to uh, turn people off from from e bikes. Well yeah. <laughs> I just wanted people to know the good parts and the bad parts about e-bike riding, right? And the bad part would be the potential for falling. So I explained to her what that, what, what the reason why I did it, and she understood at that point. But yeah, if you if you watch that video, the initial impression is, wow, this guy is really kind of negative. <laughs> yeah, I don't want people to get hurt. I want them to know that you could fall, right? That's why I did a recent video about falling and stuff. So yeah, be be sure that you're ready to do it before you go out and do it, okay? You have to have the leg strength or the hip strength or whatever strength you need to be able to ride um, and, and, and stop safely. That's all I wanted to say. I, I didn't really want people to be scared about e-bike riding. I just wanted them to know there's potential hazards, <laughs> okay? Everything you do, there's a potential hazard, right? You can go play tennis and fall. <laughs> you could get tennis elbow, right? <laughs> there, I mean, there, there's a lot of things that you can do and you can get, you can get hurt. So... Just be careful when you do it and you'll be fine. So my knee, uh, how long has my knee journey been? Uh, we're going to go up on four years. Yeah, by September of next year, it would have been four years. Uh, September of this year, I should say. September of this year would be four years. So what is it? At least three and a half years. My knee, has, 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 you know, since the knee replacement uh, surgery was done. Uh, yeah, I walk around pretty decently now. I'm not not too bad, but I still have issues with my hips sometimes. Uh, I think a lot of that is from the weight. If I didn't have such weight, uh, it wouldn't be so bad. And quite frankly, since this winter time, I've probably gained a little bit more weight too. <laughs> you can always tell. Just look at my face. You can kind of tell right right from there. And and some of the riding videos I did, you know, where you can see it on the 360 video, you can see I'm kind of big. But uh, yeah, I think um, we got to work on that weight. <laughs> Even before spring happens, because it'll be make it easier for me to ride when we when the time comes for springtime. So, now people have asked me why aren't you riding in the winter time? You know the the weather is not so bad right now. Yeah, it's still cold. <laughs> I don't want to go out there. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going out there. Now I did do some riding. Uh, you'll see that in some upcoming videos. I did do some riding, but th those videos aren't scheduled for at least a couple weeks. So you'll see some, but. Um, yeah, in, in general, it's too cold for me. If it, I think if it's below 50 degrees, I don't like going out. It's it's really it's the the wind that blows up against you that makes it cold. Yeah, it's not the it's not like you know they say it's 50. It feels more like 30 something <laughs> when the wind hits you. So uh, yeah, we don't see any winter riding for me. <laughs> yeah, but I am anxious to get out there. Quite frankly, I, I would like to get back out and riding. So, anyways, I just want to do a quick video just to let you know how my knee were do was doing and how I'm doing overall for this winter. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're one of the original knee replacement uh, viewers for Russ is Right and you're still watching me, put a comment below. Let me know that you're still out there. I'll talk to you guys next time.